Many of us can get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life and the simplest of things fall out of balance, things like breathing. When that happens, our breathing becomes shallow and high and rapid and can lead to problems uh, involved with anxiety disorders and it can also lead to problems with movement and pain. The diaphragm, the muscle that does most of our breathing, lives right underneath your rib cage here and it's part of your core stabilization mechanism. And we need to be solid here in the core to have a strong place to plug our shoulders and our hips into to generate good movement. So having good breathing patterns is very important. Here are a few tips you can use to try to bring your breath back down into your diaphragm. Think about the diaphragm as being a dome, cup-shaped under your ribs. And you need it to not be angled up, it needs to be flat as you're in a standing or sitting position, flat or parallel to the floor. As you breathe in, that cup shape drops down and it displaces all of the organs here in your abdominal cavity and makes the whole cylinder of the abdominal cavity expand. So the belly goes out, the sides go out, and the back goes back a little bit as well. You're going to notice it mostly in your belly because this tissue on the front side of your body is not as dense as it is on the back side. So when you take a deep breath in and breathe diaphragmatically, the breath should be felt more here in the belly. Let's try a few different ways of learning how to breathe deeply down into this area. Start by placing a hand on your belly and a hand on your chest and just monitor your breathing. Is your breath going in to your hand more or into your chest more? Try to get it down into your, your belly more than into your chest. Another way that you can experiment with this is to place a weight or a heavy book on your belly and as you breathe in, the air moves down and lifts the weight. Try to keep your breathing slow and regular and not too deep. You don't want to breathe too fast or too deeply here and hyperventilate. If you start to feel any sense of dizziness, or any numbness or tingling in your face, then it's time to stop, just relax, and let your breathing be normal. Another way of developing diaphragmatic breathing is to roll over onto your belly and do what are called crocodile breaths. Um, perhaps you've seen uh, photos or, video, or videos rather of a crocodile or an alligator and you can see their entire abdominal region expand while they're laying there breathing in the sun. For this, you're going to lay down and as you breathe in, you feel your belly press against the floor. And the entire body rises as a result. Another thing to be aware of is this area right here where your ribs come up. Sometimes when our breathing is off, the ribs will be very flared here and we want to try to bring this area down into the floor and press it down into the floor as we're breathing, holding that area there. What you don't want to be doing is pressing your lumbar spine down into the bench and rounding your, your pelvis forward. Leave your pelvis where it is, press this area down, and there should be about a finger's width underneath your low back, and then work on breathing down into your pelvis.